Welcome to Goblin Stone, a charming roguelike where you command an army of goblins through an adventure. It's a great tactics game, and it's sponsored, so if you like what you see, check out the link in the description in the pinned comment, and let's get into it. Dungeons. A most familiar setting for the earnest adventurer. Entombed in this particular cavernous hallway is an artifact of profound significance. A gemstone like no other. In pursuit of this artifact, three stoic adventurers delve into the darkness, unwitting to what lies in wait. I am learning the mechanics of this game, and you will learn with me, as this narrator expresses its sweet, sultry musings. Larry the wizard, Grunt the dwarf, and Peter the small child. Together we three- the common goblin will defeat this goblin. Widely regarded as a hideous and feeble minion. Eager to averse the future of its experience points, they are solid. Better than I could ever put it. Combat is turn-based. Everyone will move to center along this time bar. Peter will go first, then Grunt, then the <laughs> disgusting goblin, and then Larry. When a character reaches the middle, their turn starts. Plunky Strike. Do six damage at the cost of two. And using it will move me back along the bar. So this one would cost three. I can't use it. I will use the one that I can, deal some damage. And then watch as Peter waits his turn for the rest to do their things. Interesting. Grunt. Oh, I can just hack him to death. You don't need to think, just smash. A loot bag. Yes. An honest reward for dispatching the squalid creature. Junk. I guess it can be sold for gold. Yay. Meager spoils. Perhaps the next yield will be a bit more substantial. You better hope so. Oh, it's the roguelike map. More goblins. It yes. appears that ill fortune has beset these hapless few. This is perfect. I don't even need to talk. He does it for me. Peter, plucky strike him. Ha! Take that. Grunt. Hack him to death. Or I can knock him back. Push him back by one hexagon. But it pushes me back by three hexagons. I think I'd rather smash. That was worth it. What about you, Larry? You can whack. Deal 100% damage. 100% of his damage power. And this is 70%. And stun. The way I see it, brute strength is what will be needed to show these goblins what's what. Ow. How dare you? How dare you? My child. It's okay, he stands. He's a strong little boy. And here, I set myself up to do a one, two, three punch to not give him any more turns. Otherwise, I think he would have gotten one more hit in, and I can't let my adventurers spill any more blood. They've already seen enough. They have to deal with the internal traumas of destroying these surprisingly cute goblins. See ya. Without tally, the goblins were oh, so sad. The of darkness. I almost feel bad. Wait. How strange. These creatures were fully expected to die. Am I the goblin Perhaps now? Perhaps their journey will be worth following. Oh, protagonist surprise switch. I am the goblin. Two little goblins. One despondent, one morose, and both with the shivers. Shiver me timbers. It's a spider. Oh, how the tables have turned. Occasional snack for a hungry goblin. You will become the snack. So I can smack him for five. Uh, smack him for three with stun. I can also shove him. So two smacks and a stone's throw, finish him off. If I start with the stone's throw, is there any chance I could just go like four stone throws into a win? How long does the stun last? Like, let's just say I do another, hypothetically. Spider gets one attack in anyway. So let's just see like what I can do with it. Oh, the spider's still first. Well, he was always gonna attack once. But that was his last attack. Prepare to get smacked. A little slap across the face. Is out cold. Hope emerges as the goblins dispatch the threat. Money! I don't even need to trade for it. 30 money. Well then. There, a light. Finally, a path out of this abyss. A familiar feeling beckons to them. A feeling. 
Like somebody is trying to sell me something. Aha! I knew you wanted to sell me something, but I won't have any of it. When characters are surprised in battle, they start further back on their time bar. This allows their foes an advantage. The sneak attack is a mechanic and actually pretty understandable. Oh, dude, I'm down to 10 HP. I gotta be careful. I feel like I just have to go all in with the smacks because I wasn't able to buy any attacks before. Unless if a stone's throw now could maybe work. Let's see what happens. What's the order now? Yes. Okay, so you get to attack. You're damn near killing me, but I get to wipe out this cave spider. You never got to attack. And that is pretty big, I think. Here. Oh, he's attacking my weak guy. Okay, this is gonna have to be important. If I go stone throw, stun him, I should be able to attack before him. And hopefully, there's no way I'm gonna be able to stun long enough. It's more like I just want you to get out of harm's way. Didn't happen. Dude's almost dead, but the spider's like super dead. I might need to uh, heal somewhere. They survived the ambush. Yeah, barely. More money. Well, that was worth the near-death experience now, wasn't it? What about this? The Goblin Stone. That's the name of the game. Roll credits. As the stone awakens from its slumber, it radiates a light both beautiful and blinding. Strange spirits emanate from the stone. They swirl and undulate in jubilation. They bid the goblins to seek a sacred place deep within the woods, and there rest the stone. Whoa, trippy stone. It's possibly some sort of rock from outer space. Possibly from aliens. Coming into the light, they are greeted by spring winds and the echo of new leaves stirring in the breeze. This is terrifying. I haven't seen the sun in like 10 years. A Can't. place of respite for the weary. I could heal. Or I could take some speed. I suppose I should make myself not one shot. However, the best defense is a good offense. Let's be reckless. What's the worst that could happen? And reflect upon the day's events. If you don't like the decision, then you should get the game yourself and make a different decision. Ooh. Veal hanger over here is having a great time with the speed. Slip rugger is like, what the hell, bro? Well, I guess I leave the woods. For new lands, the old brook fields. So there's a new quest to rest the stone. I could also manage my party. And actually, it looks like everyone's healed anyway. Slip rugger, you did a great job of tanking those hits. So you'll make for a great leader. Oh, there, friends. With armor and wounds. A bitter wounds. sweet reunion, as they discover their camp had been further ravaged by adventurers. Goblin lies barely breathing. A queer sensation interrupts the morose scene. The languishing goblin is bathed in a warm glow. Its wounds slowly mend as it returns to health. The healing rock. He's saved! Welcome to the party, Ward Hopper and Gimp Leaker. What did I pass? Oh, interesting. Oh, a divided path. I see. Might I explore both ways or maybe start with this treasure chest? A stick of a sword type and a rock on a stick and ax. Hold on, so if I take those, I can add it to a dude. So I'll add this to Gimp Leaker. You seem like the stick kind of guy. And this ax, the rock on a stick. Well, I suppose that's going to Ward Hopper. What about this? Money and a key. To open an iron gate. Among the treasure, a lone iron hmm. key. What might it unlock? I know what it does. It quite maybe possibly unlocks this door. Aha. Ah, hello. There's two of them. All right, Gimp Leaker. So I could slash. Six to eight damage with a 20% chance to deal 130% more damage over the next five hexagons. Or I could deal 130% guaranteed over the next five. Well, that sounds pretty good. I could hit the back one, but I won't. I'll make you bleed. 
All right, there we go. I feel like stone throw is quite good when I have four people. I only lose three of my hexagons for him to lose two, but it's like on my non DPS guy. You know, that way my DPS guys can do their jobs and you could almost work as support. Okay, do I bring in more blood or chop nine to 11 damage with a chance to remove armor? Let's chop down this first wolf. And you're still stunned. I think the best play here is a smack so I can finish him off in one shot with the next guy. All right, unfortunately they both get an attack in. Is it gonna both be on veal hanger? No, not my hanger. The young wolf will be dead to Gimp Leaker. So here I should just stone throw this wolf, make sure it never attacks again, hopefully. Spend all my time stunning it. I can pick wounds, deal four damage, and I can make him bleed more. Okay, so it's stacking bleed. That's actually not what I planned. Instead, I'm just gonna slash it and hope I don't get a seven or a six. Seven's good. That was all part of the plan. Cause now, hold on, what happens with this stun? Do I get like more stun? Or does it just refresh the stun? I, I have to find out. What happens to the stun here? Please tell me it stacks. He resisted because he was already stunned. Well, that was worthless. Wakey, wakey. Deal 65% twice. If target has stun, add a finality for 70%. Isn't this really good then? That's disgusting. Amazing. Oh, we're powerful. Okay, I'm starting to have these guys fall into place. A hundred gold. Dude, those wolves were rich. <laughs> we just, oh, at harvest. Probably gonna need some food to heal up. Oh, nice, 10% life. Can I just do that right now? Yeah, put it on veal hangers. Dude's taking a little bit of hits. Kills him for only a little, but let's do one more. Just to keep him equal with a slip rugger. Ahead, Ooh. an adventure rests. Quietly they sneak. He's got one of us in a cage. Prepare to die. We ambushed him. Haha! He's fifth in line. Oh, that means I can just wipe him out. Alright, come on. Give him the chance to bleed. Not today. Probably won't even be necessary. Because I can just chop him. For ten. And finish him off with a rock to the nuts. Perish. <laughs> To be felled by the goblins he hunts. Medium adventure stuff. watches you from behind iron bars. Join us. Choose. Dung Fuller. <laughs> Welcome to the party. I'm actually going to swap these guys real quick. Uh, Ward Hopper in the front. And Dung Fuller, I just know you're going to be great. We'll put you third. Hell yeah. A party of five marches on. The path will split, and once I've chosen a path, I will no longer be able to tread the other. Different from before. Harvest or treasure? Treasure. We are plenty healthy people. We will reap the rewards. Although, actually, I guess I could check the greater map. Because there's also a treasure up there. There's also a harvest down here. The illusion of choice. What have we? Money and foodstuffs for 30% healing. That's pretty good. And I still have my berries. And because I have more people, I have a greater inventory space. Deeper pockets. More pockets. There was once a time when goblins were plentiful in these woods. What happened? These few, the last of the green goblins, are all that remain. Ore? Stone? Build upgrade the lair. Nature's Soon. Bounty picked clean. Wait a second. Can I do it again? I can! Ah, oh, sneaky! I can get more without it directly telling me. Ta ta ta! First, the camp. Days of tranquility and oh, combat speed. I don't need to heal. I need speed. Now another dividing path. Let's look at the map. Treasure or harvest? I will go treasure. Oh no! Ah, showing that I cannot go back. And a fight against a brown wolf. Stronger, perhaps? And his friend. One of them attacks second. So I could deal 11 guaranteed, or I could make him bleed. What if I wipe out this wolf before it even gets the chance to attack? This guy's always attacking, so you know what? We'll let him. Step one, wipe out this wolf. And then when there's only one of them... Ooh, I got a crit. 
And then we'll stun the other guy to oblivion. It's a good strategy. Except he's not bleeding, but maybe he will be now. I mean, the odds were low, but you do four to six with a chance to stun. Intercept and attack, gain armor. You know what? I will still bash. Aw, oh, five. I hate it. Why don't I also stun the back guy? Stun them both. Yeah, stun you first. I should be splitting up my stunning guys, I think. It would appear, though, this guy is attacking next. I should just get rid of him so he doesn't get the attack in. And I guess I do get two... Oh, I get four full attacks in. Oh, never mind. Yeah, this is how I win. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Well, prepare to die. And with two attacks, definitely finishing this wolf off. Exterminate. Just a casual 11 damage. If the target dies, this ability costs one instead. Not like it matters, the fight is over. So I don't even get tired. Thanks for the money, chumps. Oh, more? Well, you shouldn't have. More money. Hey, people. Mind if we use your campfire? Surprise. No, they look pretty tough. They have armor. Armor reduces the amount of damage they take from attacks, but bleed will ignore armor. This guy's got three armor. This guy's got none, but he's big. Of course, this has a 50% chance to just remove the armor. So I'll try that. I think that's what it means. I sundered. Okay, yeah, there goes the armor. Hell yeah. In that case, wakey wakey. Oh, but his armor's back now. I see, I understand. So I could stun the guy. Or I could have a chance to stun. Or I could armor up myself. If I hit with bash, I could just wipe this guy out. Only if I hit the one out of three. Everyone's attacking ward hoppers, so it doesn't even make sense to armor up. Instead, why don't I stun this guy? Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Then I could also stun the back guy. Say, no uh then you, I could shove or deal two damage. I think I'm gonna shove though. Knock you back just a little bit. Oh, I resisted, I think. Okay, that's a lot. Lucky swing. Okay, five, knocks him back. The knockback's brutal, but now the time is up. Oh, interesting. So I have a pool of abilities and I can redraw because I only get the C3 at a time. I'm like, where's my execution? I also didn't get it. Okay, so Wakey Wakey has to be worse than Slash now because of the armor. Oh, and he's bleeding. He's gonna bleed out. Well, in that case, do I even bash the guy? I actually might intercept this guy's attack and gain armor. So you want to attack Gimp Leaker? Attack me instead. I definitely want to keep stunning this guy. Just have him never ever attack. That means I can shove you, too. Just keep bullying you. Look how far back he is. He's tired. This guy's actually going to attack, though. Yeah, the bleeding actually isn't doing enough, so I guess I'm just going to exterminate him. Gotcha. A powerful start. Yeah. And look how far back he is. Wait, no, he's moving up now. Oh, exterminate does not wipe him out, so now it's less good. Now I'm just better off just doing as much damage as humanly possible. Now wakey wakey is better. That's what I thought. It rounds down. I gotta get used to that. Here, I'll just hit him again. Oh, a crit for nine. Prepare to get slapped to death. Another lad for our party. Less nice treasure, but I'll take it nonetheless. I choose you, Quip Hunter. You got a funny hat. I'll put you in the back right now. You and your funny hat deserve to be protected. Whoa. The big tree. More people. <laughs> They're drunk, huh? They watch nervously as a pair of human adventurers awkwardly stumble out of the ruins, oh. deeming it too dangerous to proceed. They search for a more discreet way to enter the ancient ruin. Yes. The back entrance. The goblins make their way under the tree through a dark and uncomfortably narrow tunnel. Oh, finally, I can see. To the goblins, oh. They find themselves intruding into a human-infested establishment hidden uh -oh. beneath the tree. Uh, the can't handle that. The crowd in a frenzy at the sight of the unexpected trespassers. As the chaos ebbs, a surly innkeeper and his flunkies are all that remain. Oh, no. He's got a meat on a bone! And an eye patch. He is not to be reckoned with. 
It may use haste to gain advantage, counter this by inflicting stun or slow. Foes slowly build resistance to effects used on them. Ah, he can build up an immunity. All right, he's got 80. Maybe I'll make him bleed so I can pick at his wounds later. Yeah, I imagine this will be a longer fight. So here, bleeding might matter. Up until now, bleeding's not been great. More cooks. Oh no. Okay, here, I guess I'd actually rather slash because it costs two. I get a chance to bring it back. Unless, if I think I can finish him off right now. In that case, wakey wakey would be better. Get him for 10. Dung Fuller does not finish him off. Unless I want to stun him. Regardless, I'll do my biggest number of damage to him. <laughs> I didn't even draw stun. So in that case, I will just bash. <laughs> oh! Dude just ran. He's tired. Look how far back he is. In the moderately tired zone. What is that boss doing? He gets to move twice as fast. Oh no. For three turns? Well, now seems like a good time to stun him with stone throw then. If you move fast, then in fact, you will not move at all. Aha! Of course, that makes the bleeding less impactful, but, you know, still fine, I think. Innkeeper also has three armor. Hmm. Well, my options here kind of stink, but I could stun you for a while, too. And maybe that could get me a lot of value. All right, what does my shaman do? I could hex him. 50% chance to slow. I could make one of my allies fast. I could also heal an ally. Okay, hexing seems nice. You know what? Let's see if I can keep this cook permanently just out of it. Wait. Okay, that didn't work as well as I hoped. Okay, well, in that case, dude's gonna be hitting Ward Hopper and it's gonna suck. You know what? Don't hit Ward Hopper. Hit me. I can take it. Yeah. Ha! Because I got the armor. And I can be healed by a shaman now that I know that. Here, I've got a pretty nice extermination here. That's about as clean as it gets. Oh! And the cooldown's tiny, tiny. All right, come on, Hex. Slow this guy down. Ah, another miss. Exterminate's only on the front enemy. I'm not gonna spend five on that. Get completely exhausted, let's just slash and move on. Oh, a crit. Strike. Nice. I can do more stunning. Stun him as much as I can. You resisted. That is bad. Yeah, I've decided I should probably at least get rid of the cook. I should at least kill the cook. Don't give him a chance to do anything. Yeah, get stunned to death. Oh, uh, never mind. Well, but that was his turn, though. So he didn't really attack. That's good. Ooh, I could inflict more bleed, or instead I could chop. I know he gets an attack off, but maybe he'll miss. Oh, okay, just gets, uh, pulls the boss up. Tenderized. He hit me for one. Oh, they're all going. Okay, Gimp Leaker, you took a little bit of a hit. Could heal. I, I, I got three guys attacking before this cook. So instead, I'm going to go Hex on Innkeeper. Hope it hits this time. Son of a... Okay, never mind. I guess he just jumped in line. I can only target the front foes, so at least, at least might as well try to stun him. Good. Actually stunned. I can even choose to knock this guy back. Except he's immune. Okay, does stun really just make that uh, knockback a non-thing? I'll make him bleed a little more. That seems to be a good one. Now the cook's in front. So hoping it wouldn't have to come to this, buddy. But you're also getting stunned. You thought you were going to attack? I don't think so. Oh, wakey, wakey. Here we go. Finally. A good one. The combo. There we go. Excellent. Aw. I right, may be slow. Okay, can I finish off this cook? Now's the time to hit seven. Damn it. Oh, but he's just slow enough. It lied to me. He was actually second. And you're actually fourth. Plan on attacking Ward Hopper. I mean, I still would prefer this is the guy who takes all the damage. So I can just focus on healing him. So I'll intercept your attack. Because I wasn't going to deal much damage to you anyway. But now. Man, I was really hoping to get the thing that scales with bleeding. I just do not seem to be getting that attack right now. I may stun him. Uh, is this hit? Yes. Stunned. Good. Ooh, exterminate. I may go wakey wakey here. Three hits. It's gotta be better than chop, right? I only do two, then four, then three. Well, that's not bad. Nine damage. Okay, can I replace a stun with a stun? 
resisted. I I've got to stop trying. I've got to stop trying. Now I can stun the front guy, or I could bash him. Oh, I could just heal for uh, quite a bit. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Take the free heal. Oh, I could inflict slow on two foes. Let's do that. Let the cook get his hidden. It's weak anyway. Can I at least reapply bleed? Why do I feel like I can't? I have to try because I'm curious. This does apply a second bleed. Okay. That's important. Oh, I could straight up stun this guy again. Yeah, yeah. Just let him stay up here. Oh, he blocked it and resisted it. Unless I stun him again. Surely this th one's gonna work. It did not. Alright, he's starting to become immune to the stun. Damn it. Maybe this time. I have no idea how immune he is. There we go. It worked. Now. I've got plenty of time to wakey wakey and the like on him. Except he does get an attack off right now, huh? No, he doesn't. Now's the time to hopefully get him hex, slow him down some. Didn't get there, but dealt some damage. Do I finish him off? Yes, I do. Got him! Do his goons run? Nice! Wasn't the chest. A ham hammer and a bunch of holy 900 gold? 150, 50, that's a lot of stuff. Who wants the hammer? Well, it seems like a r upgrade over a rock on a stick. Perfect. Oh, that's a lot of loot. Uh, we survived with flying colors. We need to be able to store this in town. The goblins descend through an old garbage chute as their eyes adjust to the darkness. An uncanny landscape of endless human refuse reveals itself. Stone in hand, they gingerly place it atop the edifice. Violent waves erupt, filling the cavern with relentless energy. Mounds of human waste are swept aside by the vindictive force revealing the great goblin lair, previously thought to have been lost to antiquity. Ah, nice. <laughs> Thank you, alien rock. Ah, quest complete. Nice reward. So now I can build a war room. Start building up the base. Probably give me some nice little roguelike styled progression. How does this work? Can I upgrade the hall? Is that what's going on? I need five souls, which can be attained from goblins death, dismissal, or retirement. Complete with the 401k, I'm sure. How do I build a war room? Here in the empty chamber. We will conduct great war. Ooh, I definitely want a larder to store my stuff. And there's another room out here. So, yes, larder for sure. Cool. So I can store everything except for this weapon, which needs an armory room. Okay. Well, I'll do that then. Okay, so I've stored everything. What about the surface? This is where I need a campground so I can bring in new goblins. All right, do I want Foul Duber? Yeah, I do with a name like that. He's got a lot of HP, but he's pretty weak. Dusk Romper might be more up my alley. You know, give me the Duber. to sort the distinguished from the disappointing. So this game also involves breeding goblins and we can create the ultimate super soldier goblin. So let's see, are these traits? Brute and flabby, alert. You know, how about I go for then the Duber and the Romper because alert sounds like possibly a desirable trait. I'll leave road lands around the side of the road. So there's a quest to go to the foothills. Ah, so I would assemble a, a party in the war room. And you don't want to know what I'll do in the party room. Let's bring everyone on. I think I like my ward hopper and gimp leaker here, but I'm also going to go for a dusk romper as well. And you know what? How would I bring the duber along just to see? Well, in that case, I'm ready for the first adventure. This is legit fun. If you guys enjoyed watching, I'm actually going to go out on this adventure. So let me know if you want to see more. And if you enjoyed the game, please do check it out. Again, thank you to the devs for sponsoring. There's a link in the description and the pinned comment. And with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.